Hi, welcome. Today I would like to show you how you can uh, possibly build uh, using WPF. Uh, essentially a program that allows you to navigate from one screen to another screen. So let's get started. Let me just run the program so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So basically uh, there is a main window and within the main window we can show different uh, screens. And uh, here in this example, I'm basically going to traverse to the next screen. And here I have option to go to the previous screen or go to the next screen and go to the next screen. Here, this is the last screen I can grow previous. And so uh, I will show you how you can create a program like this in WPF uh, using the navigation service. So let's get started. Uh, to just give you an idea of uh, what uh, I have, uh, let me just go to the first page. So you can see this is a page and uh, you can create this page and uh, I have I just added an image here which is a different image but uh, you can essentially have any content you want and I have a button here. If you look at my page two, since I can navigate to the previous and the next I have two buttons and I also have a similar screen where I can show some data and page three is actually going to be very similar. And uh, what you want to do is uh, look in your uh, main window. Uh, and uh, what I've done is I embedded something called a frame. And you can find it in your toolbar uh, if you look around for frame. And I have the frame. Uh, let me show you the properties of the frame. Uh, one, uh, one thing I wanted to do is uh, not have uh, the navigation bar showing up. So I have done the navigation UI visibility. I have hidden it. So you won't see this. So once you have this navigation frame set up, all your pages can be shown inside this frame. And to do that, uh, let me just show you uh, the code here. Uh, the easiest is to go into the code and uh, just take a look, quick look at the code. So here inside uh, my main window, I access my frame and I call navig uh, access the navigation service and I say navigate and to the first page. This is where I start everything. So you go to the first page. Uh, let's say if you are in within one page and how do you uh, go about uh, uh, going somewhere else. So I will show you what you want to do. Within that, you can just have, uh, access the navigation service, which is essentially a global here. Navigate and uh, right now I'm creating a new page, but you don't have to create a new page. If you have access to these uh, pages as one time, you can access to the same page. But basically you can navigate to anything else. And if you look at page two, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I, if I previous click, I can navigate to the previous page and go to the navigation service. So I hope I have shown you how you can use the navigation service to navigate and create such an app in WPF very easily. And it's a pretty clean app in the sense that each of the control uh, frames and the code is quite separated out and you can go from one place to another place. If you want to search for these and other videos, you can go to my website and search for WPF uh, navigation and uh, I will add this video there. Thank you for watching this short screencast and your